Hey everyone, welcome back for more Exos Years content. So today we're going to go through my journey towards Grand. So this is the first time that I was able to reach Grand. Um, for the past few months since I started the game, I usually would end up at Master 1. That's the most that I've had in the past few months. Um, just to discuss a little bit more of my team component here. Um, first and foremost, I'll start off with Annie. So Annie, FC Annie is here for, of course, her massive damage for S2. And I built my FC Annie to break red garden stones. Most of the teams usually um, use red, not if, if not six or four. Um, Annie is now can, or can break ready up to five with one attack or five red garden stones. So she also has her burning soul as her passive and she usually gives it to Dorka because Dorka is the fastest of course and it gives three mana every round and damage immunity as well. So Annie here um, is one of the most, you know, um, the most multifaceted um, hero that I have. Uh, been ha I had her for, for a while already. And let's go to FC Genai. So for FC Genai, um, I bring her because of her passive skills. Um, Charm is actually limited right now in terms of FC Genai because... I'm not really increasing her attack um, beyond the, the attack of Dorka because Dorka has to heal everyone. So for, for everyone to survive, Dorka has to have the highest uh, attack stat. So unfortunately, some of some of the enemies actually don't don't get charm because because Janai's attack is not that high. So um, once I, you know, I increase the the attack of, of Dorka, I'll also increase the attack of Jinai as well. So she is here as also a uh, as a hero that would apply poison to the enemy and also for S2. So let's move on to Shell. So Shell is here for mainly actually for her S2. Um, I use her S2 because I increase the attack of the hero that I give it to, uh, give it three mana, and most especially um, apply a turn reset. So that's the important thing of of what FC Shell brings to my team. So she actually controls the tempo of the game. Either I would give that uh, turn reset to Dorka for a specific target to get rid of. Or I give it to FC Annie so that she can deliver that massive AOE for S2. So also FC Shell provides reduced damage of 30% because of her passive um, in her um, unleashed potential. I already finished her her what they call this her health tree or stamina tree. So that is the, the, the most bottom part. You should actually do that for FC Shell. Um, next would be FC Garf. So Garf grants shared health to FC Annie because FC Annie has the lowest, lowest health of everyone in my team. So shared health. Then she grants increased defense. Uh, if Sorry. <laughs> she grants increased defense slash health of 20 percent so but he has to have the highest health of all or she has to have the highest health i, I I'm, I'm pertaining to, to to garf because of her command mark okay the last one would be uh dorka dorka is has been one of my consistent you know consistent heroes in my team i have since she came out i've i've had to level her up it's just a pity that she doesn't have her fc yet or her she has an fc but it's an orange fit core so doesn't really give you that much so once she gets her fit core she will be a monster so for now dorka i use dorka for soul bond 
Soul Bond will activate as soon as she has the highest attack uh, um, among your team. So heals 30% of missing health every turn. That's every turn. So I like Dorka better than than um, FC Talia. Although Talia's health is massive, but Dorka's uh, healing is take note. It's it's a passive ability. You don't have to trigger anything. You just have to make sure that she has the highest health. Uh, sorry, highest attack of all of uh, your heroes, and um, you just have to make sure that she survives. So again, so for Soul Bond, so it heals thirty percent of missing health for every turn, and she also gives thirty percent magic damage reduction. Take note, she gives 30% damage, uh, magic damage reduction um, when she, when she, for example, um, or the, or everybody takes a hit. So from here, I'm I actually proceeded uh, to master one, uh, master. It's master one, yeah. From master two to master one. So onward we go. Master Master Three actually there was a lot there were a lot of opponents in 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 that so I had to climb up uh, and uh, on on the on my way to Master Two I had to had to claw my way up with a lot of opponents Master Two that was the start um, not so much opponents then on to Master One. Because I think there there were a lot there, there were a few people in Master Two during that time. Most of the people went up to Master One already. So I was fortunate to to encounter a few enemies in Master Two. So now I'm in Master One. So for um <clears throat> the strategy for 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 this team is actually very simple. Number one make sure that your entire team's health is actually high high health is as important to their survivability so um as much as possible work on your core memory your blue fate core bonuses unleash potential as well you need to you need to work on your stamina tree and also your signature force if possible so the, the key to <clears throat> the key to to having or to survive is are, are those four because the meta right now is based on stall meta and and the the tankier your teams are the 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 further you'll you you know you'll you'll progress in this game especially in PvP <clears throat> so most of most of the hated um, teams that I have encountered, actually the, the most uh, hated that I have encountered is Tantalo, Bathory, Rera, Iris, and who's the other one? FC Talia. So those are the most those are the most hated heroes that I've encountered because they're so tanky that you can't really kill them. Um, um, at once you have to pick them off and eventually have the game kill them so because because we usually we, we now have a kind of a uh quote unquote timer that deals damage um if the if the if the game prolongs so that is now how the game is, is being won so extra health is actually very important okay Another strategy for this team is basically trying to break Guardian Stones for bigger damage. That is why I had to make sure that that uh, what do you call this that FC Annie can break Red Guardian Stones because the most common that are being used in, in higher levels of PvP is usually Red, Green. Um, sometimes I see Machine. And sometimes I see light. So those are the four um, commonly used, but mostly a lot of a lot of players use use red because of the of the additional health, of course. So I'm actually aiming for for Annie to 
to have her elemental enhancement to to have her destroy at most six guardian stones in one single attack okay another strategy that i am usually employing in this team is looking for the weakest member um or the most immediate threats so let's say for example um i would usually look for the healer or i would usually i, I would go for a dorka I would go for a FC Ramji, or if 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 the FC Talia on the other side is is actually soft, I would go for, I would eliminate her first. The other one that I would usually eliminate is actually Bathory, because of her annoying S2 skill. So massive damage. Um, you have to take, uh, you know, you have to take care of those as early as possible. Weakest member or the immediate threat. So sometimes the weakest member could be Iris. Sometimes the weakest member could be FC Ramji. Sometimes um, it could be Bathory. So you have to, you know, you have to pick your poison when when you start this game. And also the 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 best, you know, the best uh, one of the best things that I have in this team is actually FC FC Shell because of her turn manipulation because of her S two. So. Turn manipulation is actually very important because you'll 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 need you'll need to manipulate damage whether you need AOE whether you need um, high single target damage you'll have to make sure that you, you know how to you know how, how to to choose what to what to attack with with the, with the opponent on the other side so currently I think I'm still in master one so um i'm not sure yet if on how many battles do i have left so let me check i'm nearing the end actually so this this team of mine will 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 really will really never grow you know um uh, beyond what it can do now unless dorka gets her true fc whether it be a black one whether it be a gold one I hope I hope she gets her 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 soon, because number one, um, with her FC, with her real FC, I could enhance her 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 fate core and give her additional stats. One of one of the things that I actually would like to do is also level Dorka up to 100. So I'm trying to get more copies of her as soon as possible. Um, signature force for Dorka, I've reached already. Um, I think level three, uh, level three of the first, first four. So that's good enough. Um, I also am, I have actually three signature forces to, to consider. You have their, um, stories and you have their wasted red because Garf and Jinnai are so there. So right now I'm actually focusing more on Dorka because I wanted to, I hope that I could reach a, hun a level 100 so that I could, you know, also increase the attack of Jinai and others. Um, because if I can't do that, I don't think I'll be able to move from Grand 1. So, actually, after I made this video, I already had some, some, some other matches. Um, I actually learned that people in grand one and going up are very tough and are very hard to crack um especially with the new meta where where fc talia is there and most of the team are members of greenland so um i think this is my ceiling for now um i'm actually thankful that i was able to to go to grand one already um i had to make um some changes i had actually um, I had to change the Garden Stone of Annie because I was getting broken every time because I, FC Annie used to have green Garden Stones. Now she has red because most of the most of the enemies actually or most of the opponents on the other side are from Greenland. So I had to change her to red just for, just for her to survive. So um, it's really a tricky, you know, this team, um, the Janai Shell tandem, is actually still good. 
Um, it's just it's just annoying that when when FC Italia came out, all of this um, stall meta came out, and sometimes teams are just you know are just uh, getting too tanky for you to kill. One of the opponents that I had earlier was uh, was with a FC Garf, uh, sorry, FC Tantalo and FC Ulum. So it just actually you know made sense as well because um, FC Tantalo, FC Ulum at the back is I think Dorka or Bathory. Then the rest are 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 just are just uh, defensive personnel that are very tanky that you can't even kill. And they just let the game kill you. So that is actually the meta right now. It's actually not good. Um, I, I actually hope that they they change the mechanic again for PvP be because it has become too defensive that nobody is killing the other team anymore. It, it, uh, they're, they're letting the game kill each other. So I actually even saw a even saw a an opponent which brought i think fc ramji shufraken i think tantalo was there i think garf was there and i think and i think dorka was the only one at the back so it's really a a stall meta as they say and it's really a headache so now i'm in grand so there you go guys so Put your comments below um, on this video. I hope you all stay safe. Um, for questions, again, put them down there. And I hope um, to see you in the next video.